Hi guys, um, hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's a weekend again. Hey, cheers. <laughs> um, today I'm going to make a core pie as um, Samoan traditional food. It's something that Samoan people get together and, you know, and enjoy it and it's a sweet food. We call it kopai. I don't know why it's called kopai. I don't know the English word for it. But um, yeah, I've got a, a pot of water as boil. And I'm going to use, it's like a lumpy pause. If they call it kopai, I, I know English, but I think the English word for it is um, ko means pregnant and pie means spice. So. Maybe we can work out a name of it. I think when a pregnant woman in the island uh, and our old lady say, a pregnant woman is back to the old lady say, oh guys, go out there and make some kopai for the cool lady. <laughs> I don't know, but I will show you guys. Um, and another thing, um, I never introduce myself in my cooking show, um, but my name is Nicolau. Or well, everybody called me Nick, Nicholas, not Nicholas Kate. I'm better looking than him. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna get ahead because some of you um request a go by, and here I'm gonna show you how to how I make the go by. Everybody has their own way, but this is my way of making go by. I'm making a caramel one and the one with uh, sa coco salmon. The, it's like it's chocolate, what a cocoa, what chocolate made out of it. But okay, guys, stop talking and we get on with it. I've got a like two and a half litre of water boil, bring them to the boil, and I'm gonna mix the flour. I'm using, I've got two and a half cup of plain flour in the bowl, and with mine, I'll add. self raising flour, just two big spoon of self raising flour. I'll tell you in a minute why I'm adding this. The reason I'm adding two um, two tablespoons of um, self raising flour is to make my balls soft, a little bit softer. Because if you use just plain flour, it's going to be a hot and chew it. So I'm gonna add a bit of sugar in there. Just two tablespoons of sugar because you don't want it to too sweet because the whole thing's gonna be sweet. Now anyway, guys I'm gonna get on with this and I'll show you the how I'm going. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys um, here's our bowl of flour. It's a two and a half cup of plain flour and two tablespoons of self raising flour. Okay, and a two tablespoons of sugar. So I'm gonna add now you add a water slowly. And to make a mist um mist mix. And just mix it up. See you don't mix it too much. Otherwise, um, we don't want it too soft or too hot, our mix. Can you see it? More water. It's just a plain water, just tap water. And keep mixing it. Make sure all that flour is wet. Put your stuff in the middle. A little good inside. Add more water. It's a beautiful day today. Happy weekend, guys. Hope you are having a good weekend and um, yeah, and stay safe. We're still in the lockdown. Add more water. It's starting to wet all around now. 
of flowers all around the site are you mixed from the inside. This is a very simple um, food idea, go by. You can explain your family and your friends that never had go by before. What is a go by is? See? And then we mix it all like that. We're going to make a little lump, like little balls. And put it in our water and cook it. You don't mix it too much. Like anything else, if you mix it too much, especially with flour, it goes hard. You know, and chewy and... Yeah, I think I put enough water on this. See how you mix it? You mix it from the middle. And then boil more water in it. And there it is, guys. If you mix it too much, it's not going to be a... See how it's hot? Hot and sticky? Yeah, that's how go by... I don't know. Puka. Puka go by. <laughs> you know, it, it sounds a bit rude, the name of it. It's Puka Go Pai. Means... Pause. <laughs> That's it guys. And now we have to make little lumps, little balls and put it in our water. It's our water. And with my water, with your water, I usually add lemon leaves. But because there's no lemon leaves, I can't find any lemon leaves. I am adding lemongrass, as it tastes exactly the same, but in, uh, in the island we use lemon leaves because lemon leaves is a traditional to use on this. You put two lemongrass in there and let it boil, and now I've got a half cup of water, I'm just going to make our, our lumps, or whatever we call, puka kopai. I'm making one pot and when it's cooked I'm going to separate it to show you the cocoa one, the cocoa cocoa pie and the caramel cocoa pie. Sorry you can't see my face, I'm trying to focus the cameras on our food. Okay, I dip my spoon in there in the cold water, in the hot water and I'll start making our little Just make it little balls and drop it in there. And you've got to be quick with this. Gotta make sure it's all cooked at the same time. I'm trying to make it as round so good. And we keep going on with this. And we get to give it a stir now and then so it doesn't stuck on the bottom. This is a food that some old people sit around and eat, but in the perfect time to eat this food is in the winter, especially in Australia. As the weather's getting cold. I'm going to try my best to make this round. But it doesn't have to be a round, perfect round. Some people pick it up with their hand and roll it to make it uh, perfect looking balls. <laughs> but with me, I just have to do it this way. It's very quiet here in the weekend. Yeah, so a uh, little dumpling is uh, starting to cook, it floats up on the water. 
see you can see like it's cooking some of them so I'm gonna keep going with this guys and I'll be back in a minute to show you because it's good I'm gonna to have to finish all that bowl of flour in there okay I'll be back in a minute guys okay guys you can see how go by now the it's floating up it's done it's cook oh thing now I'll put a cold pie, cook. I'm going to just add a bit of sugar. Four tablespoons of sugar. Just for now, because I told you before, it's going to be caramel and cocoa. Okay. What is that? Bring that to the boil. What I'm going to do to fit that up, I'm going to put more flour in there. Plain flour, plain flour. Mix it with water. Two spoon of, two spoon of flour, bit of water. And mix it up. Take any lump out of it. It's gonna thicken up our go by. Okay. I'll just pour it in there and keep stirring. And then bring it back up the boil. I think I'm gonna to have to put more flowers in there. But just let it bring it into the boil. I go by is coming along, see the lemongrass in there. Because I can't get the the lemon leaves. The lemongrass will give the beautiful flavour of it. I'm gonna bring that back to the boil, I'm gonna mix more flour. It's a bit how fit you want, but I want this go by to you add flour the flour a little bit at a time. A bit more water. So a little bit at a time, see it's getting fit. Very quiet here and beautiful. Such a beautiful day outside. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend and have fun with family, or you can sit around with family and show them how to make this. It's getting thick. I'm going to need more flour in there. Maybe not all that. But put the flour on the side. And then depending on how thick do you want. Yeah, I'll go by is cooking. Because it looks very plain and maybe boring, but when it's ready and all done, all your hard work is done, it's gonna taste beautiful. We got I had four tablespoons of sugar in there. And you gotta taste it if um yeah, just let it bring the boil. It looks like I might need to add more um flowers in there. Depending on how thick do you want. Okay, what is that boil? I'm gonna half the cocoa. The cocoa samo is it's a uh, cocoa beans. The people uh, bake them in the oven or on an open fire and then squash them until it comes to a melting chocolate. And then put it in the cups like that and uh, yeah, chocolate with no sugar. But when we put it in the thing, that's the real chocolate. That's what chocolate comes from. If kids are there, can you see that cocoa? 
That's where the chocolate comes from. They just add sugar and other things to make it chocolate. Okay. This is coming thick and nice. I think I'm adding more flour. When you add that flour, make sure you keep stirring. So it doesn't go really lumpy. A little bit of lumps in there is nice. Because it's already got big lumps in there like balls. Okay, I'm going to go into this cocoa. I'm going to cut a half and put it in a cup of boiling or hot water. When it's softened up, I can mix it because I'm going to put this half of this in the other pot and make it a cocoa, copai cocoa, and the other half is going to be caramel. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a minute and hang in there with me. Oh, hey guys, um, welcome back. Um, you got to remember our copai, you constantly stir it because it's a flour, there's a lot of flour used in there. You don't want to to burn. So our copai is cooked. It's fit enough, you know, it's up to you to you see that noise? It's up to you to um how fit you want, but I think it's in the perfect spot now. I want it so I'm gonna half it into a, another pot because I can put caramel on the other one and and cocoa on the other one. So I'm just gonna share into a pot. You can make one if people don't feel like cocoa in it, like a sort of a hot chocolate, and they want a caramel, caramel one. So you can separate the pot, make a big pot, and then make and put separate before you add the cocoa, the hot chocolate, and um. What do you call the caramel? I'm gonna just half it in here. I love the juice, you know, the juice is the main thing. So, this is, I think that's enough. Keep the lemon crust in there. If you, if you use the lemon leaves, um, put the lemon leaves into this halfway through cooking because that lemon leaf can be when it's overcooked it can be sort of giving that tangy taste into your go by but I'm using lemon grass so I can just keep it as long as I want so I've got this pot for the got this little pot for the caramel go by and I've got this is a cocoa and now I put the cocoa in here in the hot water to melt it See the half of the cocoa is gone, so it's in a cup. Now I'm going to add the cocoa. I melt it in the hot water, there's still a little chunk in there, but when if you make it just a co cocoa copa, you can just throw the whole block in there and it melts. Okay, let's add this cocoa. Just add the whole thing anyway. Half a cocoa is going there. That is like a, a hot chocolate copa. And to bring it back to the boil and make sure that um, that whole cocoa is melt. See, our cocoa, our chocolate is nearly all melt. And that's our cocoa cocoa pie. Okay, I'm gonna leave, put this on the side and make it our caramel. All I need to add in here now, when the cocoa is melt, it's um, coconut cream. Turn it off, let it settle for five minutes, then you come up with a coconut and add a coconut cream and stir it in to give that creaminess of the chocolate. Yeah, look guys, we got our chocolate called by now. Creamy and once you add the coconut cream, it's thick, see, it's thick now. Cocoa's all melt and let it settle for five or two or three minutes and then you add a coconut cream so okay I'm gonna put this aside and I will get on with our caramel this is a cocoa called by I'm gonna add a coconut cream in a later but I'm gonna to have to do our caramel for our caramel called by okay bear with me guys 
Hey guys, um, I've got a fry pan on now. I'm just gonna make our caramel. Our caramel is only sugar, raw sugar, just raw sugar. But it's um, it depends on the size of the pot. So I'm just gonna make. Yeah. Um. Five spoon of sugar, or maybe more. It depends how many caramel you wanted in your your cold pot, and then just sit there and wait for that sugar to resolve, to melt, and um, turn into um, caramel. I think I'll add another spoon. Okay, we have our cocoa cold pie now. Where is the thing? This is our sugar. When you put the sugar on, you keep stirring. You don't want that caramel to burn. It's a weekend now and um, I can hear my neighbors start barring. See, um, Anthony's outside smoking some fish and some chicken to eat it for lunch, but this you can make it earlier, you, you can have it whatever you want, it's a sweet, it's a dessert. And our neighbors are party. My party hasn't started yet. And this you can put it in the fridge when it's cold. And you can warm it up and eat it or you can eat the cold. It's up to you. But I'm just showing you guys how I make the the go by. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. You know, don't take things too seriously. You know, the world now is full of sadness, and but don't stop being nice and be kind to each other. See how caramel is melting? It's just a sugar that's melt. And you can see when it's enough brown for you to add it into your food if you want to brown more. But the thing is, you've got to keep stirring. Until all that lumpy and sugar is melt and becoming brown. Not as much as me. Oh, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Cheers guys, I'm enjoying myself, you know, every cook I made, I gotta enjoy, when you start cooking and cook with love, why not enjoy it? Cheers guys. Yeah, you're so happy, rolling light. To look me out to a young falling night I will find fun to add to a little of fun Be more yellow to a toy Look guys, see it's starting to bring that bubble, brown bubble up I don't know if you can see it, see that brown bubble That means it's nearly ready our caramel you want our caramel to bubble up because it's a sugar game that makes the sugar and in the sugar it still got that moisture just forgive me if our fire alarm's going off <laughs> okay our caramel is ready don't let it burn guys okay I'm going to turn it off I hope you can see through the I blow some smoke, see through that okay? Our caramel, with all that smoke. There's our caramel guys. The sugar, keep stirring because sugar is so hot and be careful. Be really careful when hot sugar is like hot oil. Okay, it's time to pour our caramel into our cold pie. This is our cold, um, caramel cold pie. Listen to this when I put that spoon in there. Now add our 
Camel, be careful, slowly, a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. Watch your hands, stay right away from it, and let the caramel melt into our cold pie. Be careful guys when you do this, make sure kids are not around. Kids stay away, staying away from it. There's nothing worse than hot sugar, hot candies, you know, and hot oils. So when you cook and use hot oil and sugar, burning sugar, keep the kids away. They can watch from the distance. Until they grow up enough. But now it's all melting there, I'm going to turn it back on. Now our stove's on. And there. Our caramel go by. Just let it bring to the boil. Like what I already done the cocoa one. A chocolate, hot chocolate go by. As we call it in English, but we call it go by, go by, go by, go by. Okay, let it bring it to the boil. See how it's hot that sugar is? Straight away it's boiled again. I'm gonna rinse this fry pan off. You put that sugar stuck to it. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Now I can bring the cocoa one. A hot chocolate, or you call it hot chocolate or cocoa cocoa pie. Just stirring it up. And a caramel copai. And it's all we need it now. Well, I don't think I'm going to wait five minutes or two minutes to add our coconut cream. I'm just going to move this a little bit on the side so you guys can see. We've got our coconut cream. It's smelling dessert in here, you know, sweet dessert and that's what we want look, see, you can put less caramel and they'll be like golden color okay, this is our cocoa one sorry about the noise there's our cocoa one, there's still a piece of cocoa in there having melt uh, cocoa cocoa pie a uh, cocoa hot chocolate cocoa pie we've got a cocoa in it and we're going to turn this caramel cocoa pie off I'm just going to leave it in our saddle I'll give it two minutes. Maybe I'll go and have a smile. <laughs> and then I'll be back in to um, put a final touch. And the final touch, that's all we need. It's this. You can buy a tin, a coconut, or this. But this is this tin is um, thing is thick and you got more coconut out of it. Okay guys, I'll be back and I'll bring the bowls to show you how dessert's going. This is beautiful to eat in winter in cold weather. Or you can put it in the fridge and eat it cold if it's hot days. But it's beautiful in each way. Okay guys, I'll be back in a minute. Welcome back guys. Um, now, it's been two minutes. <laughs> that was very fast, isn't it? Okay. Now, we're going to add our last thing, coconut cream. You can put as much as you want, you just, it's up to you how much coconut cream goes, it doesn't matter. But, look, it's into our caramel. Our caramel go by. Sorry for the noise of this, the pot is making. To me that's enough coconut cream. Isn't that beautiful colour, isn't it? Look at it. And you keep stirring it just to get the coconut cream to mix into our caramel cocoa. 
And that's it guys for the caramel copay. Now I'm going to add the coconut cream into our hot chocolate copay or we call it cocoa copay. Yeah, our caramel copay is ready now guys. And now I'm going to do the same in the cocoa or hot chocolate copay. Add the coconut cream slowly. And stir. You see that beautiful color? I usually use fresh cream, but it won't taste the same. You have to use coconut cream on this, guys. And don't forget that lemon leaves. If you use lemon leaves, you can take it out now. But if you use um, lemon grass, you can keep this as long as you want. Because lemon leaf got that as it, I told you before. Okay guys, we got our kopai, cocoa kopai and caramel kopai. I hope you guys are enjoying and understand what my kopai is. <coughs> okay, I'm going to get you some cocoa kopai. Get the lemon grass off. Uh, cocoa kopai. See, it's got that peanuts out of Cocoa seeds it has in crunch very good, but there's a lot of people like that. And a bit of um, some of that juice. Beautiful. That's our copa. So the balls doesn't come up really round because it doesn't matter, it's not about the the look is about to taste. And that's our cocoa cola pie, guys. It's too hot for me to taste it, so. Okay. And now, I'll serve you our caramel cola pie. Our caramel cola pie. Yum, yum, yum. I prefer the caramel cola pie than the cocoa cola pie, but we all have our different taste. There, yeah, guys. The choose is very important because it's what people want. You know the the custard. Okay, we got our caramel go pie. There you go, guys. And enjoy yourself. <laughs> you know, caramel is there, very nice, just perfect, not thick, not too runny. Okay. Maybe I'll let the camera now look at me. Hi guys and thank you for so much for watching and subscribing on my YouTube channel. Happy, how happy I am. Thank you guys and I hope you enjoy your weekend and I hope you dry this at home. Just take your time, it doesn't take long at all. The video might seem to take long but when you do it yourself, when you actually make it, it only takes 20 minutes. It's only 20 minutes of cooking. Did uh, longer because I'm making the video and I'm trying to go step by step and I'm making two cocoa pies, the caramel and uh, the caramel and the cocoa one. You can always put more caramel. You can always put more cocoa. That's me. I'm done for the day. I hope you all well and stay safe for this virus. It will go away soon. We will win over this if we work together on this. Okay, guys. Thank you again. Time for me to stop talking and get out there. And I'm gonna show you one thing that um, we're having today. We are smoking fish and some chicken to eat for lunch with our drink. And then this will, you can eat it any time of the day, any time of the night. Put it in the fridge, cool it down, overnight. You can eat it overnight, overnight, overnight. Just warm it up if you feel like. Bear with me guys, and I'll thank you for joining me. Take care and God bless you all. See you later. Hi right, guys, and that's um, we're smoking some chicken, and I told you I'm gonna show you and some fish. It's getting along really good. This is gonna be our lunch, and then we um, go and enjoy that go by maybe later on this afternoon or tonight.
thank you guys for subscribing and thank you for your support and God bless you and have a blessed weekend. Goodbye for now.